Hello guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. Loads of news came out last night um, from the ex-Patreon, another in the nose on the West Ham Twitter community. Um, so by all accounts, Jesse Lingard and Tammy Abrahams have said that they do not want to join West Ham. Start with Jesse Lingard first. Obviously Jesse Lingard off the back of a fantastic half season with West Ham, you know, real driving force for our end of season push. Um, was a loan, no option to buy, a uh, bit of a mistake from our end. But um, yeah, the rumour is that he either wants to start Manchester United or try his luck abroad. Um, there are rumours that, uh, you know, he would have been open to come back to West Ham, but because of the regime and, you know, he's looking at it, seeing that we're not really doing much. Um, it's sort of turned his head a little bit. Uh, we move on from that. Um, it's a shame, you know, he had a massive impact and I feel, you know, if the fans would have been there for the ride, he would, you know, he would have felt that love that we fall in love with players that, you know, deliver and work hard like he does and he has a real winner's mentality, um, you know, and that shone, shone through to the other players. Um, you know, good luck with the rest of his career. Um, but yeah, it's a big shame. It's a big shame. Um, I think if he stays at Manchester United... You know, he'll very quickly turn into a bit part player. There's too many good players there now. I'm not, not saying that Jesse's not a good player, but he's not this player that, you know, that they're wanting now. You know, they're, they're looking at the Sanchos, the Varans, the Bruno Fernandes, the Pogba's, you know, the elite of the elite players, you know, the top elite players. So, um, yeah, maybe a move abroad. or It wouldn't surprise me if he ends up at another Premier League club, if I'm honest with you. Um, I know there are another, there's a couple of clubs, probably maybe Villa. Um, or Leeds, somewhere like that, might look at him. Um, in terms of Tammy Abrahams, um, you know, apparently was Moyes' number one target for a long, long time. Um, that now has been put off. Apparently Tammy Abrahams doesn't want to join West Ham. I'm not gutted. Um, I'm not happy either. It, it's, um, I'm sort of not bothered at all, really. I, it's, it's not a player, like I say, that excited me too much. He, he's a good player and probably would have done a decent job at West Ham. We still need a striker desperately. But, um, you know, he wanted something like 145 grand a week. And, and he's not worth that much. He, he's not. He's not that good a player. Um, yeah, so that leaves open um, what I had on my hand, you know, on the thumbnail. Um, probably three options, maybe four. I could have added probably Celtics, Eduardo in there. Um but yeah, probably the main three now, the next three on the list, are probably Danny Ings from Southampton. Um, natural goal scorer, when fit, keyword when fit. Um, I really, really like him as a player, hard working. But again, he's another one, you know. If Antonio goes down, he goes down. Again, you're back to that bare bone situation. Don't want any player can get injured. Any player could go onto the pitch with no injury record at all and do their cruise yet whatever you know um it's when you're getting the muscle injuries and stuff like that that danny ings is getting um that's when it's risky you know antonio renowned for the hamstring injury now i like him as a player i wouldn't be against the signing but my i, I believe i reckon they won't go for him purely on the injury record um the other ones there were obviously um a divok a divok origi the liverpool guy um score of the champions league goal against tottenham um, maybe, maybe. I think it's really harsh to judge a player that's been bit part for Liverpool. You know, when you look at the players in front of him, Salah, Mane, Firmino, you're talking about three of the best players in the Premier League. Um, he scored some important goals for them. Probably, he probably could do a job for us. He probably could do a job for us. I, again, I'm not. I don't think he's going to set it alight. I don't think he's going to do like uh, get 15 goals or something like that. But then I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Like Ian Acho, it took him a couple of seasons at Leicester, and you started seeing the best of him last year. You know, you started seeing what he's about. Could, could it Origi be that sort of player for us? Maybe. Maybe I wouldn't be. Wouldn't be against it again. Wouldn't excite me. Wouldn't set me alight. Um, but yeah. The, you can understand why they're potentially looking now. Obviously, the other guy on the list is the Blackburn guy that we've been linked with for such a long time. Is Adam Armstrong. I know Paul would really like us to sign him. Um, very quick, very pacey. Goal scorer. Scored a lot of goals in the Championship last year. I know it's a big step up. Um, the only thing I think that might be against him in terms of being a Moyes sign, he's little. I think he's about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, which is really, really small. 
Um, and then you, if you put like Bowen, him, uh, Lanzini, Fonaus, you know, you've got a lot of little players. And I know Moyes, I think we can all see, Moyes likes a good, you know, 6'2 plus player. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be against the Armstrong signing at all. Um, but yeah, I, I'm looking at what Moyes might be thinking. Um, apart from that, I, I don't know who else. Uh, the, again, there must be some players on the continent that can do a job. Um, Simmer, obviously, um, the young uh, Czech Republic guy. Um, Hojzek, potentially, you, we could go back into that, potentially. Um, and there was, there's the bushy uh, Much and Gab back guy whose name escapes me, and I do apologise, guys. Um, that's another one, uh, Embola, Embola. Um, in terms of close transfers, you know, I have two hands on my thumb now. Um, it seems that it's between Kurt Zuma and Milke, Milenkovic, um, the Florentina defender. Um, Ivro, I'll be happy. Um, I think I slightly favour Milenkovic, uh, younger, taller. Um, the, only, the only thing on his downside is he's not proven in the Premier League. But, um, you know, you, you usually can't go wrong with, a, you know, a Croatian defender. You know, they're usually artists now, know the game well. Um, yeah, I, I would really like to see that signing. He's cheaper as well. Uh, but again, wouldn't be against the Zuma signing. Um, I think Zuma could be a real beast for us. Um, as Paul said, for anyone who didn't see the podcast, he would remind me of a Distan signing when Distan signed for Everton. You remember how, how good Distan was for Everton, um, you know, real leader and, you know, had just uh, been fairly successful at Manchester City, but, you know, he'd, he'd gone to Portsmouth and then he'd come to Everton and then sort of announced himself again as a real solid top centre-back. So, either or, I wouldn't be bothered, but if you had to say, Luke, who would you want out of two, I would say the Croatian guy. Um, uh, Serbian, I think he's Serbian, actually, not Croatian. Um... And obviously the last one, this one looks like it's going to rumble on. It, you know, every hour it seems to change to, it's really, really close. And then he's joined, he, then he's liked a tweet from this Al Hiller club. And he, he's liking tweets saying, welcome to Al Hiller. And they're, they're obviously going to offer him big, big wages, but don't seem like they can afford the fee that West Brom want. Um... I want this guy, especially now that Jesse Lingard has sort of more or less made it clear that he doesn't want to join West Ham now. Um, I think he becomes priority signing. Um, he's very, very exciting, as we all know. Listen, I don't need to constantly go over how good a player this guy is. Um, just get it done. Get it done now. Get it done. You know, if it, rumours are that Randolph's going to be used as part of the deal, uh, you know, because obviously they always some for Dear Garner, and then if we can give them Randolph, because Sam Johnston probably likely to leave there, which means they will need a goalie and Randolph sort of fits straight in there. Pereira goes and, you know, they, they, it's a good deal for both teams, to be honest with you. They they get a goalie, they get a bit of money and they clear their debt for Diagana. We get a player, we get rid of a goalkeeper we don't need. Um, hopefully some stuff kicks off again this week. It, you know, it seems like we're, you know, we're starting to dip our toe in a little bit now. But let's hope, but what my fear is in terms of the Lingard and Tammy Abrams now is, Let's not have another Carlos Baca situation. Let's not have another El Nesri situation. You know, these players don't want to come. Leave it now. Leave it. Go and get someone else. Don't waste your whole time on a player that's made it sort of clear that they don't want to come. Yeah, OK, some players can keep be convinced. But there are other players out there, as I say. There, there is Origi. There's Armstrong. There's Eduardo. You know, Danny Ings as well. There are some players out there, and with uh, Lingard, there's Pereira, etc. So don't waste your time trying to chase someone that's not there. Um, yeah, and get these contracts sorted out with Rice and uh, Soufal. You know, they need to get sorted. It's, it's a, something that needs to be done. Uh, one more thing on Brentford friendly. It was good, good match, wasn't it? Uh, for those of you who watched it, um, I like, you know, that we're playing some real competitive friendlies. You know, the Celtic game started quite competitive. Obviously, we went on and showed our class. Um, Brentford showed they were a good side, you know. Um, the midfield looked really good, really strong. They, they pressed really hard. That might be a bit of the story of their season, though. You know, I, I, again, it depends how well Ivan Tony starts or the other guy. Um, but they've got some, they have got some good players. They work really, really hard for each other. And it took a world-class goal, you know, fantastic goal from Saeed Ben Rama. Great to see him. You know, two and two in pre-season. Um, 
So hopefully, you know, he can really kick on and have a great season for West Ham. And I think he will. I think he's going to be a real key player for us this year. He still needs to work slightly on the decision-making. There was a point where he ran down the wing, Cresswell overlapped, and he sort of wasted possession. He could have laid it into Cresswell's feet, who would have played it in. But then, he, uh, to be honest, in the game, he did learn from that. And he was able to play Cresswell in a couple of times, and it did nearly lead to goals for Antonio. Um, anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, might do a live show tomorrow, or if any news comes out... Um, I'd like to wish Jake happy birthday on Wednesday. Um, I believe he's 14 on Wednesday. I think he was saying that on his live chat. So, yeah, happy birthday to you, mate. And good luck with your Frank McAvenny interview tonight. Absolute credit to you, mate. The work you put in, you know, for such a long, young lad. You're really, really good presenter. Um, well done to Forge Dions as well for reaching 500 subscribers. Um, a good little channel over there. Let's get them up as well. Um, and just because he's a good friend of mine, JP as well, I know he's very, very close to 2,000 subscribers. Give him a little knock as well. Um, anyway, guys, hit the like button if you haven't already. Until next time, come on your irons, keep believing. Let me know your list of strikers, your list of midfielders, or list of players in general. Who would you prefer, Milenkovic or Zuma, um, Ings, Armstrong, etc.? Let me know your list. It'll be interesting to read what your opinions are. Let's go.